The Mie 2 was the talk of the town and the hype train had just that on the cards until Honor announced the Honor Play. The Honor Play nailed the pricing and as we have seen in our review, the smartphone is amazing value for money. However, the Mie 2 is supposed to be a value for money offering like any other Xiaomi phone. Price aside, the performance is what matters. This is Sandeep from Rev Atlas. Let's see which is the better smartphone among the two. The Mi A2 and Honor Play are two well-designed smartphones with great build quality. While it's tough to say which is the better one among the two when you see each individually, putting them together reveals a few differences. The Honor Play is the more compact one among the two despite having a larger screen and is only a tad bit thicker than the Mi A2 with a much bigger battery. The A2 feels even slimmer thanks to the tapered edge, but the Honor Play feels like it gives more grip thanks to a rounded corners and narrower design. In terms of display, the Honor Play clearly has an advantage. Firstly, it's larger at 6.3 inches compared to the 5.99 inch Mi A2. The aspect ratio of the Play is wider at 19.5 is to 9 compared to the 18 is to 9 display on the A2. That also means that the Play has 2340 vertical pixels compared to 2160 vertical pixels on the A2, although both are 1080p displays. Despite both being IPS panels, the Honor Play is better in terms of brightness and sunlight legibility. The A2 doesn't get as bright and as a result the sunlight legibility is poorer. Sharpness is on point on both, but the Play offers more options for customization such as color temperature, saturation, blue light filter and the ability to adjust resolution. The A2 has a blue light filter, but being stock Android other customizations aren't available. One thing that may put off some prospective customers is the notch on the Honor Play. You can however hide it using the settings. In terms of internals, there's a difference in terms of how each brand approaches things. The A2 doesn't offer memory expansion, but is available in 64 and 128 gig capacities. The Honor Play has just 64 GB of storage for both the 4 and 6 GB variants, but has a hybrid dual SIM slot that offers memory expansion. The Mi A2 has a dual nano SIM slot and 4 or 6 GB variants. The Mi A2 is powered by an Octa-Core Snapdragon 660 chipset, while the Play has a Kirin 970 Octa-Core chipset. Speaking in terms of processing capabilities, the 660 is an upper mid-end processor, while the 970 is a high-end chipset. Performance-wise, the Mi A2 and Play both perform really well. The Mi A2 has stock Android, while Play has EMUI 8.2 atop of it. While stock Android and Android 1 branding of the Mi A2 gives it an advantage when it comes to the update schedule and security patches, the Play also performs pretty well despite having additional UI layer on top. It also has GPU Turbo technology to help in gaming and high-performing tasks that promises 60% more performance while being 30% more efficient. One thing missing on the Play is an IR blaster which the Mi A2 has and I find it a really useful feature. Coming to the audio quality, the A2 is clearly a winner. The dedicated amp is the same as what we got on the Mi A1 and people familiar with the A1 will be quick to remember the quality it provided. It will delight audiophiles as well. The Play on the other hand has only a decent audio experience and can't drive powerful earphones or headphones. The speaker too is mono on both but louder on the Mi A2 compared to the Play. There's a slight catch here though. While the Play has a 3.5mm audio jack, the Mi A2 just has a Type-C port which you can use with an adapter to listen to wired audio. The A2 comes with one in the box, but you'll need to embrace the dongle life unless you have shifted to wireless audio already. The camera setup on both is a dual lens one. But the A2 seems to have a superior setup with 12MP Sony MX486, f1.75 aperture and 1.25 micron pixel size as well as a secondary 20MP Sony MX376 with 1.75 aperture and 1 micron pixel size. This is in comparison to a 16MP f2.2 primary camera and 2MP depth sensor on the Honor Play. The front facing camera on the Mi A2 is a 20MP Sony IMX376 with f2.2 aperture while the Play gets a 16MP f2 camera at the front. We are doing a detailed camera comparison as well, but here are some samples from both to give you a glimpse. In terms of battery capacities, the Mi A2 has a 3000mAh unit compared to a 3750mAh unit on the Play. The Mi A2 has average battery life giving up to 5 hours of screen on time on best days, while the Honor Play gives 8 plus hours of screen on time every day, and both charge over USB Type-C. The Mi A2 however is faster at charging speeds since it supports Qualcomm Quick Charge 4.0, while A2 units outside of India support only QC 3.0. Regardless, you need to buy a separate QC 4.0 charger to make use of its full capabilities. The Mi A2 charges from 15% to 100% in about an hour and 20 minutes, while the Play takes almost 2 hours using the bundle 9V 2A charger. 
Although both the phones will definitely have their share of suitors, I personally prefer the Play for its better screen, battery life, handling and processing power. The A2 will be the choice for people who want a stock Android experience as well as better audio quality though. Another deciding factor would be the camera experience and it seems like the A2 has an edge there. Watch our camera comparison to find out who wins that test. Thanks for watching, see you again in the next one.